Hey friends, whenever you go like to Walmart to buy something, you go on Amazon and get something, what, what happens? You give them something, namely money, they give you something in return. It's a transaction, right? Well, lately I've been thinking about how sometimes I look at, maybe you do too, look at coming to a worship service or reading my Bible or praying that way. I'm giving God some of my time, my attention, and so I want him to do kind of X, Y, Z for me. Give me a you know, jolt of encouragement, help me solve some problem. Uh, you know, give me a conversation with someone when I'm at church that you know, tell me how wonderful I am or something. You know, I'm looking at worship, reading my Bible, my relationship with God generally as being you know, kind of like a, a business transaction. But guess what? God isn't just interested in a transaction. He wants to transform us. He wants to make us into new people from the inside out. Um, 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, if anyone is in Christ, he or she is a new creation, in other words, a new person. And a couple chapters earlier in that same letter, he says this, as we contemplate God's glory, which is his greatness, his supreme importance, which is what we do in worship, isn't it? We're, we're being transformed into his image with ever increasing glory that comes from him. And if you think about it, isn't that what we really want? You know, we don't just want God to give us something, we want Him to, to make us into something, to make us more like Himself, you know, to make me, to make you better able to really love the people around us well. Uh, people who, who can, you know, who do and say the right thing, not because we should, but because we, we want to, it's just who we are. Or become the kind of person who can, can persevere and even experience joy uh, when hard things come. Friends, that's transformation. That's what God is in the business of doing. So let's not just settle for a mere transaction with Him. So next time you come to a worship service, or you go to youth group or choir practice, next time you, you pick up your Bible, uh, enter into those things, not just with the hope that you know, God will give you some you know, nice uh, little, little pick-me-up today. Ask God to use that, that activity, that time, to really shape you, to transform you, to become more the kind of person that He wants you to be, and in our heart of hearts, you want to be as well. Thanks for your time today, friends.